do you know what we do also on the podcast, by the way? What? Is we like to play a little game. Okay. Okay, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to... Uh, I'm going to let you do just one version of it. We're going to do just one quick prank call. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to get you to prank call Harrods. Okay. And you have to blag to them yeah. that you are Spencer Matthews and you want something for free. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you have to do it. And you have to you have to go through with it. Okay, you have to keep going through with it. You're Spencer Matthews and Do we get to tell them at the end that it's a joke? Of course you can if you want to, but but you know, you've got to go with they, it. No, you do as the as the bloody host. No, I'm no, not no. just going to go, what when they say no, I'm not going joking. <laughs> no. I'm actually filming this. <laughs> it's a podcast. <laughs> you have to intervene and say okay. I can't wait for you to sit back and not say anything. Okay, okay. I will I will intervene. Hold on. I will intervene. So what what, I, what am I trying to get? Um, you were trying to get... Uh, hold on, I was just trying to get this. Hold on, fucking one sec. Oh, here we go. You were trying to get... Anything uh, for free. Anything for free. You just, you just want... You, you, you just got engaged... Uh, you're Spencer Matthews. <laughs> so ridiculous. Related to royalty, and you no, want I, to get. I'm not related to you royalty. You could use that card, though. You could use that I'm card. Not using that card. Yeah. <laughs> use that card. You're so ridiculous. <laughs> you know that we like specifically tell the press not to mention that, and you, my best pal, bring it up. Do you <laughs> okay, mind? Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm calling Harrods. Okay, you can say whatever you want to say. I'm not going to. What interview. am I trying to get? You can, just something for free. You just look. You, you've lost your wallet, and you need some food, and you 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 what? Want, yeah, just anything. You just go with it. This is the whole point of the podcast. Ready? Here we go. So I'm going to call them. It's Harrods. Here we go. It's on speaker, and you hold it. I'm just going to say, I want, some, I want, a, I want a gift. <laughs> Welcome to Harrods. We are open from Monday to Saturday, from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. and on Sundays from 11:30 a.m. until 6 p.m. Good to with know. With browsing only from 11:30 a.m. It's an advert until for Harrods. <laughs> Good afternoon, Harrods. Hi there, who am I speaking with? It's Harrod Switchboard, how may I help you? Oh, hi darling, uh, could you put me through to someone who might be able to help? Uh, my name is Spencer Matthews and I just got uh, engaged. I was wondering whether you have any gift packages that you could send my way. Sure, one minute please sir, thank you. <laughs> That's so good, That's so good. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> so good at blagging, the best. <clears throat> Can you imagine if I get something out of this? Mm, like a Cartier ring or something. How many listeners do you actually have? <laughs> 15, 16,000. But we could. <coughs> the hell is going on? Let's just wait, hon. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. <laughs> they all laughing at me. <laughs> thank you for calling. It's all coming back today. again. They're we laughing. Apologize for not being able oh. to answer your call. Please leave your name, telephone number, and a brief message after the tone. That will do, won't it? <laughs> leave a message. Thank you. Hello. Uh, it's Spencer Matthews. <laughs> it's Spencer Matthews calling. Uh... You may have heard of me from such shows as Min Chelsea, The Jump, I'm a Celebrity, uh, what else, Jamie, Jamie's Happy Hour, anyway, a bunch of shows, uh, mainly to do with Channel 4. Uh, I'm also doing something coming out of Comic Relief. Basically, I'd like a gift. Oh shit, it's Sport Relief as well. I'd like a, uh, I'd like... I would like a gift, please. Uh, I've just got <laughs> engaged and uh, we haven't heard a peep out of you guys. So I'd like some sort of hamper or something. My email address is <laughs> at sp.co.uk. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, 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 now, and, now, and now we don't get to tell them that it's a joke <laughs> because, they're, because they're no longer online and you've hung up. Great. Cool. It's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Do you ever call up? Do you ever call up one one eight one one eight? No. You never used to call up one one eight. Yeah, I did. I okay, mean. I want to play a little game with you, Francis. It's really expensive, wasn't it? Well, I want to play. A quick did you ever do AQA? I used to love any question answered. But Francis, before... Can you still... Is that still around? Can it's you? called Google, I think. Oh, yeah. Before we um, get into it, I want to uh, play a game where you phone 118118 and you have to ask a question and they have to answer it. All right. 
questions. Okay, but you have to... What, Tom, what question should we ask him to ask for? Maybe we should ask him the question of the week, see if they get it right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. I love that. Here we go. So 118118. We're going to ring them. Here you go. <clears throat> Thank you for calling 118118. How can I help you? Hi there. Um, uh, I was just wondering if you could answer the question of the week. Sorry, you can... Which question, sorry? I wanted to know if you could possibly answer the question of the week. Question of the week? Yes. And it is... Okay. If, are you listening? Yeah, for that specific <laughs> request, we will send a response with a free text. Okay, so the question is, what is the least hygienic form of bodily contact? What is the least hygienic... Form of bodily contact. <laughs> Do you know? Yeah, for that specific request, we will send the response as a free tag. No, but do you know yourself? No, we don't have information, sorry. You don't know that? <laughs> where, where are you from? We're a place in Manila, Philippines. The Philippines? Is that where you are now? Yes. Ah. How is it? How's the weather down there? Uh, right now it's summer. Oh, so it's hot. Yeah, so, um, do you, do you have a girlfriend? I have a wife. A wife? Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. What's her name? I'm sorry, we're not allowed to uh, disclose her name or information about us. Ah, uh, okay. But, I mean, just her first name. I beg your pardon? Just, yeah, just her... Oh, uh, okay. What, what's your name? Give you my name? What's your my name? name is Stan. Pan? Pan. Pan. No, Stan. S -T -A. Stan. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's nice. Stanley, short for Stanley? Or Stanislavski? Uh, Stanley. Stanley. Right, Stanley. Well, thanks very much. I look forward to hearing your answer. Thank you. Uh, we'll just uh, send a response as a free text for that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Have fun. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, that was amazing. God, I like that. So we're going to wait and have a text. Do we? Is that the whole point? Yeah. See if he gets it right. Do you think his name was actually Stanley? No. <laughs> no, it can't no be. No chance. What? St Stanley. I don't think it'd be. Called no, Stanley. I thought it was more likely Pan. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, Tom, we did this with uh, Spencer Matthews. Oh, and did we you? We prank called Harrods. And he oh, tried to get a gift because he just got engaged. Harrods have sent him a gift. What, what, what gift did they, they send him? They now, sent him a big bottle of champagne. Mm. Yeah, oh, from the gosh. podcast. Yeah, Bastards. so we could get a large Easter yeah. egg out of this. But like a I, six see, foot now, I also egg. worked in Harrods, and Har Harrods' policy throughout their history is that if the customer has a request for something that they don't sell, they will find it, they will sort it, or they will make really? it. Really? Well, so maybe you should so ask... So he might to, have to, had an advantage. Maybe you should do it to Harrods again, then. No, we're doing it to Fortland <laughs> Mason this time, because Tom <laughs> worked this out. So, Tom, here we go. If you put that next there, we're going to do it. And you have to ask for a very large Easter egg. If you put it, it'll be on loudspeaker. Oh, I see. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to Fortnum and Mason. To make a reservation in our restaurant, or to arrange an event, press 1. To place an order, press 2. To hear our opening hours, press 3. <laughs> for customer service or any other queries, press 4. Oh, well, that's 4. Or if you know the extension number of them. Just to let you know, we record our calls to make sure we're giving you the best possible... So do we. Well, there so we are. We're recording it too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not the only one. <laughs> Good evening, Fort Mason. Can I help? Hello. Um, I was just ringing. You do have an in-house chocolate here. <laughs> I always get that. I always get that. Do you have an in-house chocolatier? An in-house chocolatier? We do sell chocolates in store, but we don't have one, yeah. Do I want a gargantuan Easter egg, and I was wondering if it would be possible for you to make one for me. It, it needs to be big enough to house me. No, unfortunately, we don't do that service. Uh, but I desperately want it. Do you think you could source one from one of your chocolatiers? No, we don't do. We don't have a chocolatier in store. I read on your website that you, if you didn't have something in store and it was requested. Oh, oh no! 
How rude. The shade. The shade. Oh. <laughs> she hung up on us. She hung up. <laughs> No. She hung up on that demanding lady. <laughs> <laughs> I always get that. Do you actually always really? get it? Yeah, I always get it. Really? But if Do I you answer correct them? a call, if I answer a call at home from a company, then they always say, "Oh, it's Miss Reed Wilson that we need to talk to." You. <laughs> <laughs> and I go speaking. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever correct them? Do you say, oh, no, sorry, it's uh, I, I'm a guy. Do you ever say that or do you just go with <laughs> no, it? No, unless they ask for Tom and then I say, tis I. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got a game that I want to play with you, right? Here we go. Yeah. So, because you're a vegan, there are a lot of restaurants out there which aren't vegan. Okay, I want you to phone up one of the restaurants <laughs> and try and have an argument or explain to them why they should change their whole range to vegan. It's- Speaking to the owners of the companies. No, nah, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna phone up Subway. Waiter. We're just gonna phone up Subway and Farrington. Poor like person. That's yeah. so shit for them. No, it's gonna Are be you there. Let it's, me see this. It's gonna be great. Trust me. We're gonna phone them up McDonald's right now. McDonald's have got a vegan burger out. Okay. Which is in Finland. Well, hang on. Give it here. We're gonna phone. Do you want to phone KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, or Subway? Which one do you want to phone? This is so mean. You, it's fine. Just I'll, I'll ask them. You can just ask them why they're oh, hungry. Let's do it. Come What's here. What's the other thing? Oh wait, can I bring like a butcher's? Yeah, you can bring a butcher's. Great, let's do that. I'd let's rather do. do that. All right, let's or like f- a slaughterhouse. Then you're gonna phone a slaughterhouse. We're gonna phone a bu- okay butcher's <clears throat> hook and cleaver. You're gonna phone the butcher's hook and cleaver, which is a pub, and you're gonna say to them, "I think you're, I think you're a butcher's. Why no. do you serve meat?" No. Here you go. It's ringing. Can you do it? No, it's ringing. You got can it. Can you do it? No, you're ringing. Here you go. Can you do it? It's ringing. Say, do you serve meat? Put it next to the thing. What am I doing? Good afternoon, Butcher's Hook and Cleaver. Hi, is this a Butcher's? We're a pub called the Butcher's Hook and Cleaver. Okay, so do you only serve meat then? Uh, we're, we're a pub. Yeah, but do you only serve meat? What, from, on the food menu? Yeah. No, of course not. So do you serve vegan options? Yes, we have a couple on the menu. That's amazing. <laughs> He was hung up and then. I'm not going to have a go at that. They have vegan options. Oh my god! He just hung up. (laughs) Oh, that's amazing. Hang up. (laughs) We got two ones here. Firstly, you can either ring up the O2 and try and book yourself. Or the other one that I want to do is you ring up a pizza place and ask them for life advice on your comedy stand up. (laughs) <laughs> well, what, which pizza place? Well, whichever one you mm. want, you can pick it. I think the O2 is potentially funnier. Reese, <laughs> which one? The so O2. Gonna... Firstly, the O2 could be uh, potentially career damaging, <laughs> or, or, or you know, <laughs> yeah, career, yeah, yeah. career making. You know. Or career making. Do I have to definitely say I'm me? Can I say I'm someone else? You could say you're someone else. So That's you're Spencer fair. Matthews. Oh, I'll say that I'm. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say I'm a comedian. Do you want to say... Can I pretend to be someone's you agent? You can pretend that you're Spencer Matthews and you wanted to book yourself for your first comedy gig because you've chosen to pursue a comedy career. They won't and that's, believe. that's actually quite... You, you can imagine him doing that. I'll say that I'm Jamie Lang's agent. No, no, you can't. No. Oh, God, you see my panic in my voice now. <laughs> no, no, please don't. Oh, shoes on the other foot, is it? I see. All right, I'll phone the O2, but... Um, yeah, do I, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll think of something. <clears throat> Thanks for calling the information line for the O2 officially the world's most popular music venue. To help us answer your question correctly, please choose from these three options. If you want to buy event tickets or parking, oh, or have a question to your about event. tickets Is this be an already option? bought, press yeah. one. For upcoming events, if you want to play the O2. up at the O2 and our bars and restaurants, press two. If you want to buy or a ticket to Reese else, James, please press three. At any for how to get here and our postcode, <laughs> press I will one. need to know that. Yeah, if you you're will. coming to True. the O2 and have a question about an event or oh, the venue, time. press 2. For lost property, press 3. Lost my will or to live. for anything else, please press 4. <laughs> please note, calls may be monitored for training purposes. Oh, good. They're recording it as well. Hi, Bill. Two, I can help. Hello. Uh, I was wondering if you could put me in touch with the people in charge of bookings at your venue. Uh, I'm an agent of a very popular comedian looking to book in a tour date. Uh, so do you mean the one of the venues, yeah? Yes. Okay. One moment. Yeah. Sorry, was that just O2, the network? <laughs> was I just trying to negotiate a contract for my phone? The event sales team for the O2. 
To help us put you through to the right person, please choose from the following five options. For VIP club membership and hospitality suite sales, press 1. We'll get that, Francis. For other VO2 team building and exclusive corporate group bookings, press 2. For private hire inquiries for Indigo at the O2, no press way. Three. Proper venue, for please. Private hire inquiries for the O2 Thank Arena, you. the Entertainment District, and all our other venues. Press four. The Entertainment four District is my middle name. There is no mailbox associated with this extension. Wait for I transfer your call. <laughs> that went well I think I'm going to be playing the O2 <laughs> So guys, okay fine, we got hung up on there Reese. I mean, I feel like you had, you were pretty persuasive at the beginning. So I think you should phone back that guy that you got on the call first. You should just try and just get him. Just, just, just persuade this guy. I that mean, guy works for O2 phone network and we'll be like, what are you talking about? Thanks for calling the information line for the O2. Oh, we're back. Officially the world's most popular music venue. Hello, I can help. Hello, I was just cut off in a f- previous phone call. Uh, I am an agent representing a comedian looking to um, hire out the O2. Uh, oh, and I just wanted to... I, just, I transferred you to the necessary... I know, department. but it didn't work, so I'd rather not be transferred if that's okay. If just quite time sensitive. Um, then, uh, hold on a moment. Then the best thing would be to drop an email to sales at the old two. I don't, I'm not on email. Um, I just do business on the phone, quite old school, this business. I just wondered if we could chat about I upcoming mean, dates at the O2 to, availability. If you could advise me to transfer it to anyone specific. Bear with me a moment. Thank you. You're not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it is too late to say sorry, actually. <laughs> Hi, thanks for holding. Um, Unfortunately, our inquiries are all done via email over the phone. Email so, over the uh, phone? Yeah, you said you're not an email, so... Uh, I mean, I'll, I could suggest that if you, you could... It's quite easy to open a Gmail account. Say again, G... A Gmail account or Hotmail account. So that's the way we deal with our bookings. Hot. Yeah, for the... All your booking. So really, if I want to book the venue out, I can't... Can you not just talk to me now about it? I'm looking to do it on Halloween. No, but- I know. I mean, I'm trying to transfer you to the sales department. I don't know what happened a minute ago. What? Are the, where um, are the I'm sales department? So the, I transferred you prior to this call. I don't know where that took you, sir. No, it took me absolutely nowhere. <laughs> it didn't go to. It didn't go to another call. It said a mailbox was not recognised or something. And frankly, I don't know anything about mail in any form. Um, would it help I if mean, I told I'm, you who it is that I'm trying to book into the O2? Would that help? No, it, 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 honestly, for me personally, no, it wouldn't help me. It would, come on. It, I'm sure it would help. I mean, you're going to jump at the no, chance. You're going to jump at the it chance. Really, it wouldn't. I'm, first point, I'm, I'm the first point of contact. Nah, here, but so I, your I'm first point of contact is the perfect contact. You know, the first person who gets I'm, to hear the I'm big news. Um, I mean, Let I'm me tell you two words. Reese James. I understand. But I can't. You understand? Can't what do you mean you understand? You should be, is there no, there's no fanfare over there. I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I, you know what, I accept your apology. Reese James, he wants to play the O2. I'm his agent, Jackson Tucker. I'm looking to book him in for the O2 on Halloween at 6 p.m. Okay, I will transfer Until 11 p.m. Department, okay? One moment, please. Oh, don't transfer me, please. I don't like being transferred. <laughs> for calling the event sales team for the it's, O2. It's her again. To help us put you through Two to the words. Right <laughs> please choose from the following five options. For VIP club membership and hospitality suite sales, press one. Yep. For up at the o- We're talking VIPs, aren't we? Good afternoon, VIP club now speaking. How can I help? Hello, I'm looking to hire out the O2 as a venue, but I've had no luck getting through to that team, so I've been sent here instead. Oh, I see. Okay, I can transfer you if you bear with me one moment. Uh, people keep trying to transfer me. I was wondering if I could talk to you about it. Um, I'm trying to book in a oh, comedian I represent to play to the O2 on Halloween 2021. Sorry, I really don't have any information that I could give you. If you bear with me, I'll uh, transfer you. I sorry, I look up thought it was the VIP department. Sorry, it's okay. I just represent a VIP. You need to speak with programming. If you just bear with me, I will look it up for you. Just hold the line. Okay. Hello. Hello. Who am I speaking to, please? 
Uh, my name is Christian Dacuña. Who is this? Hello, Christian. Uh, my name is uh, Jackson Tucker, and I represent a very, very popular comedian who is looking to hire out the O2 on Halloween uh, to perform okay. his one-man show. Uh, I was wondering mm -hmm. if... Uh, are you the right person to speak to about that? Um, I am, but we've got an email address that um, you've got to send an email to first. Uh, I, I think, did um, explain... I think one of my colleagues just told you exactly the same. Is that Yes, right? it is right, but yeah. I'm not on email. I did tell your colleague. I don't know if he relayed that. I know, and I, I think what we, what we would suggest is for you to set up an email address account on But if um, you, I mean, what Gmail. if I... Is there no way of doing it even if I told you who it is? I can't... I can't... Who is it? So, who is it? Two yeah. big fat words... Reese James. Okay. Reese James. You've probably seen him on football's 50 funniest moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaffs and goals. Okay. Sky I'll Sports' honest, biggest blunders. It's, I, I, I completely hear... I, what no, happens no, when the news no. goes wrong? <laughs> no, I know, uh, I know who it is. Are you laughing but just thinking about him? We, thinking about his we jokes? We still require um, to, to, to make sh ensure that you've promoted events at the appropriate venues, and that's all done via email so that we can do the, co the correct checks before we can take the inquiry forward. The problem with the email thing is that I'm quite, uh, I run quite an old-school business. It's worked for me for 40, 55 years, so that I don't really see a need to transfer online, get on the web and stuff. It's fine. I mean, as long as you, uh, you as long as you're able to, to to type and and send information across an email, then then that still works. What do you mean? What are you trying to imply? Uh, no, I'm just. I'm not trying to imply anything. I'm just saying that we we, we essentially you send us an email. We send you a form asking you with a, for lots of information on your experience. Oh, what sort of inform what, what sort of information do you ask for? Uh, just so I'm prepared. Well, I don't want to set up an email address and then not be able to answer your questions. Um, well, it's just all sorts, you know, like, 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 where have you promoted events before? Oh, Wembley. <laughs> Wembley playing actually, Arena. Yeah, Wembley, no, Wembley Stadium, playing um, to the West Stand in Wembley Stadium this Friday. 28,000 sold. 28,000 sold. Um, and, well, this, this, again, it's just a bit pointless. I just think, well, I understand how you cannot have an email address in this day and age. <laughs> well, I mean, you live your life, <laughs> I live mine, thank you very much. Christian, <laughs> um, it's just the way uh, most most people do business. I find it quite funny, um, but yeah, I mean, I think the best way to do it I, is. is well, I don't know what business you're talking about, but I Sorry? do business over the phone. Is this not O2, the phone network? No. What? No, but it's the O2 Arena, right? It's the O2, it's the O2 Arena, arena yeah. yeah. And, and what, you're, you're is it a different? Is it a different O2? Network. No, I know, but is it a different O2, <laughs> or do you do business <laughs> on the phone? Why have I got no, a contract no. with you if I have to get an email address? <laughs> I'd like, you know what? what? I'd like to cancel my phone contract, please. Book in the O2 Arena, <laughs> and then I will get an email address to sort it all out. Sorry? I think you heard me, Christian. Goodbye. I feel awful. I'm going to have to phone him back. I'm going to have to phone him back and apologise. Okay, we are that time of day, London, where we ask you to do a big favour for us. Right, what is because it? Because you've been actually, honestly, you've been an epic guest. Thanks, man. Um, and because we want to try and get an even better guest next time, which is, <laughs> which is really tricky. Yes. We're going to try and get you to ask the person to be on our podcast. Right. Okay. And I'll do, do it. Do you know who we're really trying to get? Who? Jeremy Corbyn. Wicked. We heard he's a big fan. I reckon... I reckon he'll do it. Yeah, so you're going to phone up or try and get hold of Jeremy Corbyn. How, what's his number? Oh, we, we can't give it out because then everyone phone him. But Francis, Where's, you know... How do you have his number, though? He slipped in Francis' pocket he's a, once. He's a member of Parliament. He's, he's a public what? official. So is it in, like... In public, it's civil, is it, can yeah. I Google it? Yeah. Oh, wicked. No, no, I've got it here for you. So, oh. so you're going to phone up, try and get hold of Jeremy Corbyn and ask him to... You've just been on Private Parts podcast. Right. You thought it was a great time. You knew that... We wanted him on, and as a as a birthday surprise, or right. as a surprise to us, right. you're getting him to come on without us knowing, and you oh want to get God. him on the podcast. Why is there so much backstory? Well, you know, you, you can create. I just gave you a little bit of backstory. You could change it up. You okay. could say there's a fire in your house, and you want Jeremy Corbyn to save you if you wanted to. Or maybe like, you should like... maybe you should actually pretend that you're baby station returning Jeremy's call. <laughs> Great! Oh my god! Well done, I think that's better. Okay, so, so you're so am I ringing up Jezza? Pre pretending to be baby station, saying you're returning Jeremy's call. Oh, yeah, they're gonna hang up the phone. That's not gonna get him on there. Well, if they hang up, then at least we've given it a go. Oh, Are god. you ready for this? Yeah, but I need my. I need to get my baby station voice on. Okay, we'll practice it first. Be like hello, 
Wait, am I calling on behalf of base station? I'd be like, am, am I, I calling girl? a bloke? Am I co- <laughs> what? This is a sultry, sexy voice. Hello. Sorry, I got the wrong number. Is, uh, is there any girls there? This is Babe Station in the daytime of London East. That's, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. Okay, fine. We like no, it. No, but am I calling on behalf of Babe Station or am I the babe from Babe yeah, Station? Yeah, you say you got cut off from Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this okay. Is- no, I need a Babe Station name. Uh, London Hughes. No, what, no here we go. <laughs> what, what's K5? What is your first street name you lived on? Burlington. And what is your first pet called? Averex. Burlington <laughs> Averex. <laughs> okay. Burlington Averex. That's, that's your babe station name. Burlington Averex. Your pet was called. What kind of pet was it? A hamster. Averex. Yeah. Isn't that a make of jacket? Yes. Yeah. And I, it was the cool Averex jackets back in the day. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, episode 60 here is London Hughes's Prank Cool. Good afternoon, Jeremy Corbyn's office. Hello, my name's Burlington Averex. I'm calling on behalf of Babe Station. I was just on a call with Jeremy and I got cut off. Is there a way that you could put me through to him? Uh, you were on a call to Jeremy? Yeah, Mr Corbyn. Um, can, I, can I get your name again? Burlington, B-U-R-L-I-N-G-T-O-N, Averex, A-V-I. Okay. Burlington, can I just put you on hold a second? Yeah, sure, no worries. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Wellington. Um, I don't think that that call took place. It definitely did. I literally was just on the phone with him. Um, on the phone regarding... Um, it's kind of a so private like, matter, what? but it got cut off. Yeah, I don't think that actually took place because he's in a meeting right now. He rang me about 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago? Mm. Um, Is there a way that you can get him to call me back? Yeah, sure. I can well, he has my number anyway. Down. He has my number. Just say Burlington from Babe Station rang. From where, sorry? Babe Station. B-A-B-E-S-T-A-T-I-O-N. Okay, I, I, I will let him know that you called. Thank you so much. Can you tell him to call yeah. quite... Urgent. It's quite. It's quite urgent. So as okay. soon as he gets out of his meeting, if that's okay. And you said he has your number. Yeah, he does have my number. He's called me okay. several times. No worries. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> the funny thing is. Funny thing is, someone's actually going to go in there and say, sorry, Burlington Averex from Babe Station called. She says, could you call her back? She said that you called her several times. (laughs) Burlington Averex from Babe Station. (laughs) London Hughes, everyone! Oh, God, that was too much fun. Well, I've I've got a prank, actually, we could listen to. Okay. Which I, 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 well, actually, a friend of mine from school found an old laptop from when we were, when we were like 15, 16, mm-hmm. and found this sort of treasure trove of all sorts of pranks and uh, photographs. And, um, and uh, anyway, he got a prank that I did to, le- I, I prank called Let's Revision Guides. You know, you know those old revision guides. Okay, so you're 15 years old. You, yeah. uh, you were pretty much 15 in, or 16, yeah. 15 or 16. And you can actually, if you listen carefully, you can hear Fred in the background. Fred Ferrier, who's also from Maine and Chelsea. So Francis, just to give a little background. Francis was a bit of a rogue. I can say this. Your mother even said that. You're pretty naughty back in the day. You didn't really um, listen to rules. You still don't really Fuck listen to Fuck the police. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, don't. I love the police, actually. <laughs> He you, was do at, a, you do a great job. He was at oratory school, oratory boarding school uh, uh, for boys, um, 15, 16 years old. You're just discovering yourself. You didn't know quite what you were. Well, I thought I did, but, you, you know. know. quite. You were just confused about life, weren't you? I wasn't. So, confused actually i was i was quite uh i was quite sure of myself i was pretty cocky actually for for a... you were also quite a player at this time weren't you N- no you weren't a player well i mean i you know was... you always said francis you always say to me you always say you know god when i was younger i used to just no i never say that to you yeah you do no i never say, say that to you god, when i was younger i was such a ladies man no i d- i never say that cool you always go and at the beginning you always go cool no, no, you know, cool. Fred says that about me, but I, because he obviously knew me back then, but I don't say that about myself. Cool, I was a ladies' man. I would never say that about myself, like you. I never said that, cool, I was a ladies' man. I never said that. You just said it. No, you're, you're saying it. Anyway, this is Francis Paul prank calling uh, revision 
prank, prank calling uh, Let's Revision Guides. Let's Revision Guides. I actually put it up on my YouTube channel, so if you guys want to listen to the full thing, you can... He's 15, 16 years old. Here's a little snippet of his prank calling. Are you ready for this, Francis? Okay, yes. Let's get to it. Um, hi, you do the uh, GCC revision guides, right? Yes. Um, well, I, uh, I'm i calling to complain. I mean, I bought a, I bought a, uh, a Let's chemistry guide. It's... Okay, one moment. I'll connect you to customer services. Oh, thank you very much. Very kind. Whose voice is that? That's my voice. <laughs> what? Uh, um, hi, I'm calling. I recently bought um, all your um, available revision guides for each subject that I'm doing. I'm doing nine subjects. And, um, I, well, in my mocks, I'd read all the, um, all the guides which uh, claim to give me an A star. And I actually failed all of them with D's. Right. So um, I'm I'm actually I mean it's false false advertising, isn't it? What they guarantee is giving you an A star, do they? Yeah. Okay, well I just actually say guarantees to give you an A star. I'm not familiar with the books. Let's GCC success. Well it says on there that it guarantees. Tip, tips for an A star. star. Tips for an A star. I read all the tips, no A star. Okay, so you read all the tips that were for an A star and you didn't get an A star, and so now you think that's false advertisement? Uh, well, yeah, basically. Okay. Probably want to put that in writing, really, to be honest, if you've got time to. Uh, well, I'm, 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 I tried your writing GCC revision guide and it didn't really help me. So I can't actually write. <laughs> so what sort of deal I would put your complaint into writing? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm wondering if I could dictate it to you and you could pass it on to your supervisor. No, you feel free to write it in the email to me. Or you I can't can write, though. Uh, actually, I have dyslexia. Are you taking the piss? No, but I think you are, so... <laughs> no, I think you are. I would know, clearly not. I'm actually going to complain to your supervisor. If you can't write the complaint down, then it's going to be very difficult for me. I'm going to call your supervisor and complain. I can speak quite well. Can you pass me on to your manager? Bear with me two seconds. <laughs> this is absolutely genius. This is genius. I can't wait yeah. for the supervisor to come on. I'm so excited. <laughs> Typical Francis to push a joke as far as he can. <laughs> okay, he's on the phone at the moment. Can I take your number and he'll call you? No. Yeah. No. Uh, I'll wait for him, thanks. Well, I don't know where he is going to be, unfortunately, so... Okay, my number is... Uh, my, my number is 9... Oh, yeah, nine. What's the code? That is the code, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. My actual number is 0208. I'm in London. <laughs> oh. That is pure genius. That was what I wish I could find all the other ones we did. <clears throat> we had some great ones. Yeah. You had some very good ones. We had some good ones. Yeah, um, I love the fact that you would take it that far. Yeah, well, you know, that I, well, it was it was actually a credit to them that they didn't just hang up on me. You know, it allowed me to really uh, milk that. Yeah. I I think that's pretty pretty freaking genius. Is that, is that how young I sound? It's you do you cool. sound incredibly young. Which I, which actually leads me on to a a, a a sort of game that we should play. <clears> I think. Which oh I, yeah. Yeah, which I think should be super interesting because you know you used to prank calls and all these kind of things, and that's what you were like as a kid. Uh, original prankster. Original prankster. I that, feel that like prank was textbook. I feel like what we should you, do is we should the, play. We should play a. a if you a, get the. You don't get the pun, do you? What? It was obviously I was pranking about textbooks, but. And I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But we have this. We you have didn't this, laugh. So. Well, I just wasn't that funny. Okay, right. I, I normally give you laughs when it's funny, but it wasn't okay. that funny. All right. <laughs> 